Okay, time to see what the damage is. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. All right, guys, we are going in through the main entrance over here, Park MGM. Uh, worth noting that this is the valet and the rideshare area as well, so keep that in mind. And on the outside, as well as straight away on the inside with the doors over here, you uh, have Purell, so you can immediately sanitize your hands, don't touch your face, whatever, I don't know. I'm 30, I'm immune to everything. So... All right, sanitize real quick. Sanitize in while you guys read the sign. Really foamy, really foamy sanitizer. Okay, so immediately on our way in, the first thing I noticed that's a little different is that the check-in kiosks are gone. Yeah, the check-in kiosks are all shut down over here or just out of service, so you get to see that VIP is actually where people are checking in. Normally these are full of people that are uh, just looking to go and yeah, it's just that happening right now. Um, shops are open still, at least for now, just at least till tomorrow. Oh, pardon me, sir. Oh, yeah. All right. And let's get back up just general direction. Think elevators. Concierge desk is full right now. So a couple different directions we can go. We can go pool that's over there. I'll take you there later. But right now, let's check the casino proper. So the machines, for some reason, are still on. They haven't ushered people away from the machines, which is interesting. I guess they're trying to get the last, uh, squeeze the last few cents out of everybody's that's here. Um, the Starbucks, it's, uh, I think it's nine o'clock. I don't know what time is it. I don't know what time it is. It's either 8 or 9 o'clock. But Starbucks is closed, and this is usually peak Starbucks time. So that's the first portion of the casino area. The second portion, we have the Baccarat room, which was pretty abandoned yesterday. We're in going into this morning, and kind of same deal now. And then there's kind of the higher limit slot room over here. It's pretty quiet right now. Yeah, it's weird. The casino was supposed to cease operations at midnight. So, last night. But there's still people on the floor. So, again, here we have the center bar. So you can still get a drink in the center bar. Yeah, a lot of the machines are turning off, though. I guess they're just kind of slowly but surely turning them off. So throwing to a lot of people in. Maybe that's what it is, but they're shutting off half the general area. All right. If you want to go down this way, we can go down this way over here. We can see the whole rest of the casino over here. And it's just a lot of shut down stuff. Uh, looks like Bavette's is closed, which is a real shame. So we wanted to try that steakhouse. Yeah, it looks like all the technicians and engineers are out and they're just kind of shutting down the machines too. I'm just gonna go down the center over here since there's nobody in here. I don't think they're gonna yell at me for filming for once. Because <laughs> there's no one to film, so it's not a problem. Yeah, a lot of lights. Not a lot of stuff going on on this end though. The casino is completely dead right now. One of those rare post-Vegas apocalypse videos. You know, I used to stay over here when it was the Monte Carlo, and I gotta admit, I think I kind of prefer the Monte Carlo. It felt at least a little bit opulent, although they had a terrible time with the rooms and the air conditioning. Betty MGM Sport. There it is. What? Are you, how you doing, bro? What's what do you? What's your advice? What do you want to know about? I want to know about post Vegas apocalypse. How do you feel about it? Like Park MGM is dead. This is the deadest I've Dude, seen. Dude, there's it. there's machines that are completely on blink right now. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Right? How long have you been coming to Vegas for? Ah, I've been coming to Vegas. I'm 52 years young. Yeah. And I was here for 311 day. Yeah. Three. 
Yeah. 11. <laughs> Something like that. There you, you know, go. My, day, my days are a little bit long, but um, it's the craziest thing. What I'm, what I'm really curious about as I leave here in a couple of hours. All right. Um, curious to see what the strip's going to look like tonight. Hey, you know, um, check with, check with, out Ace of Vegas. I'll be streaming it, man. With nothing going on, and um, but I appreciate the uh, the time here on camera, and yeah. uh, hopefully this will be gone in a couple of weeks. All right, let's go for it. Thanks, Peace Big Dog. Out. I appreciate you. There we go. That's uh, that is a live reaction to what people are thinking, guys. Uh, Park Theater is also completely just boarded up over there. I guess in preparation for everything to go down. And this is very much what it looked like last night. None of these tables are on, and a lot of these machines are about to turn off, too. Now, still a couple pockets of resistance, still a couple people still trying to stick around. Uh, but it's just so strange seeing so many restaurants closed. Um, La La Noodle just closed right now. I think it was uh, on the record, which is always closed when I come into town for some reason. Really upsets me. I, I'd like to go to on the record. And the Pac-Man game is gone. How sad. Also, big six wheel over here. No dice on that. Best friend uh, snacks and liquor and all that. And the Mama Rabbit bar just all closed. Like, I hadn't realized there was so much to do and eat here until it was completely unavailable, you know? We still have the gold games. And the My Konami games, because My Konami will never quit. Alright, let's take a walk about in Italy too, while we're here. So Italy is the other half of everything in the hotel and casino. And... Yeah, these are uh, these are some pretty nice little like food stalls. So there's still people working. I just don't think a lot of things are open yet. So there we go. A lot of, it's still relatively quiet here. Whoops, almost fell down the stairs. Still relatively quiet here, is what it is. Looks like I might be able to get some handcrafted Italian pastries though at uh, Pasta City. Oh, there we go. We have one guest that's still in the building. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and head uh, next door to the actual park. So this is a park MGM, then there's a park at MGM, even though it's at New York, New York. So, irony out of the way, let's use the force, go through. Didn't know your boy Ace of Vegas with a Jedi, did you? And now we're out here jamming. It's actually not too quiet on the strip yet, it's really still sleepy. It's that time of day where people are still kind of sleeping in. And let's go over to the park. It's never been there during the daytime. So let's see what it's like after we cross the street. All right, and here we are crossing the street now. Over by New York, New York. And this is the park, an MGM Resorts Entertainment destination. So this is the actual park at Park MGM. So we finally get to see this. A lot of a lot of open kind of picnicy tables and all that. And then they have the big water wall and all that. We're gonna have to do a walk through the water wall. It's pretty little plants. Nothing in bloom yet. It's uh, I understand it's been kind of rainy and snowy though, so things are gonna start blooming really soon here. It looks like a real park, almost. And I guess this is where they're cleaning. And here's the wall of water here. It gets a little loud. This is uh, Nick from Sin City Nerd's favorite part of uh, Park MGM is what he told me. Gonna have to link that in the description box. 
we did a stream, we were on stream with them, and it was a blast. Uh, but yeah, you can see Shake Shack, and then of course there's the giant chess over here. Just a giant chess board. And it looks like you can just set them up. Any which way. And they all do move around very easily. So, you can actually play chess, you can bet on your own little chess match over here. But that's pretty much the whole Park MGM right now. This is post um, Corona Apocalypse or whatever they're calling it. I don't know. Chicken and waffle sandwich. All right, we got wings. But yeah, this is it. And now you can just go into New York, New York from here. And this is pretty much just the whole park. They have music here on occasion. The Hello Kitty Cafe is still here. And we still have pigeons. So, everything's still normal. It's just, there's just nothing hanging out here. It's just, there's just nothing. It's like they kind of wandered off from it. But it's the first day of wandering off, so you think it's just a slow day. And of course, you get a good look at the T-Mobile Arena over here on this side and the park theater. So there's the park theater and there's the T-Mobile Arena over on that side too. Beer house is over here. So is Cali Pizza Kitchen. And then you can see the entrance to Nomad on this other side over here. All right, then we have the rest of the beautiful artwork up this way, right before we get to the T-Mobile Arena, sponsored by Toshiba for some reason. And the fountains over here. That's because everything in Vegas has to have a fountain. And yeah, gang, that's it. All right, guys, it's pretty much good game, no rematch here at, uh, Park MGM, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back inside, maybe hit the pool, see what we can do, and we're gonna have a good time. But until next time, Mason Vegas is signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva,